Welcome to episode one of Time Bandits. I said we're going to be reviewing this, and here I am, ready for my punishment. I hope you are too. Or, well, I mean, you're probably watching me being, being tortured, not actually watching the show. Which is totally fine. I'm up for that. I'm ready for it. I hope it's not going to be quite as bad as the trailer looked. I don't know. I really don't know. But I was thinking of doing something very interesting. Maybe perhaps after every episode, we'll be talking about the places and the things that they see. We'll see how things go and how I feel after this first episode. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, I do have to say, I, I kind of like this, the opening. It looks like a, a like an 80s retro thing going on. I like it. I have to admit that. So far, going around the room, showing off all of the historical things that this kid is doing, is drawing, is creating. It's kind of cool. So it is Kevin's birthday and his parents who <sighs> already start off to be pretty big assholes. I have to be honest. Uh, anyway, they take him to wherever they he wants to go on his birthday and he decides to go to Woodhen. The jokes are falling very flat. Maybe they took people here. And bored them to death. At least the sister seems normal. So our main character gets picked last. In sports. Yeah, I'm feeling very sorry for the main character. He's now playing a lot of board games alone at home. Now, uh, I get it. In the original movie, he's a geek. He's interested in history. Stuff like that. I don't know why they are portraying him to be such a complete loner. Honestly, I didn't get that kind of vibe in the movie. Whatever, they can fill it out however they want, but it's kind of sad. I'm not... It, yeah, the, the show is sad. Mom? My wardrobe's moving. Whoa! So I'll I'll be honest. I'll be honest here. I kind of think this is lackluster. In the movie, he had a freaking mounted knight in his room. That was freaking cool. This here, lackluster, majorly lackluster. So he's telling his parents that there is a warrior in his room, a Viking warrior. Uh, actually, he starts out saying that there's a man in his room and his mom jumps up and it's like, but then once he says Viking, it's like, oh, OK, whatever, Kevin, whatever. I'm trying to really like the main character here, Kevin. It's hard to do so when he talks like he's an adult who has given up. It, it doesn't fit the character. Whatever. What good is knowing about history to anyone? It's literally the past. Who's it going to help? It's over. To get into the future. Technology. Yeah. Update. Upgrade. Yeah, touch screen. Yeah. Music. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we can get you a new phone. I don't need a new phone. He doesn't mm. use it. Why not? We bought you that phone. We bought you a phone. Why don't you use your phone? Use your phone. He probably they are so annoying. Know. Who's going to call me? I know. No one. You could use it to chat together. Can't we chat the old way? Like this. This is chatting. No, oh. this is just talking. If you use your phone, you could be chatting to someone else while we're talking, like I am. What are you up to? You're stuck in the past, Kevin. You've got to get in the 21st century. I give up. Then this talk was worth it, as you've learned an important lesson. Sometimes, give up. Wait, 
that's the lesson. What? Sometimes give up. Yeah. What? You can't choose your family. Mm. You cannot choose your children either. Mm. And now we have the thieves. So far, not convinced by her performance. So far, any of the bandits that they have introduced us to have just been so bad. So, so bad. I really miss the dwarves that we had in the original movie. And this is supposedly Madame Shang. We'll see how the episode goes. Zhang Zhi Shao. AKA Ching Shi Ching the first Sao Dao. I have no idea. I'm mispronouncing this. I'm so sorry. Night 1844 was the chief of a massive pirate confederation which plundered the South China Sea in the early 19th century. She inherited the role from her late husband, Sheng Zi. 1765 to 1807, expanding the pirate fleet and defeating three Chinese flotillas in the process. The Imperial Chinese, British, and Portuguese navies could not bring Shang Xi Shao to justice, and it was only when she herself chose to accept a pardon that the great Pirate Confederation was disbanded. Over three years, she had beaten all comers, but also caused terror along the coast of southern China, where thousands of civilians were robbed, murdered, and sold into slavery. So according to the show, this is her last battle in 1810. Now, I've looked up on the internet, and I can't find... Any battles in 1810. She had a battle in 1809 where many of her pirates defected and she saw the writing on the wall with more and more international involvement. Things would be getting much harder and much worse. In mid-April 1810, she took a group of women and children and surrendered. She took a pardon. That being said, I have not found any battles in 1810. So, what the show is doing, I have no idea. So, I basically just cut out the entire uh, Madame Shao part of this episode. There was nothing really to talk about. It was, you know, just back and forth. The uh, learning about the cap, the translation cap, which allows them to speak all the languages and stuff like that and understand everything. So, I mean, that's cool, I guess. That's something that I would like to have. I didn't want to do it like this. I wanted to watch the show, enjoy it, talk about the historical aspects of it, and come to find out they're just completely making shit up. That's that's upsetting. Look, I didn't do this with the original movie. It was fun. It was interesting. It felt correct. You know, if you're in France at a certain time, you would, you know, meet Napoleon. How would that interaction go if suddenly there were, you know, and of course, making fun of shit is fine. But just completely, like, it was believable. It was actually believable in the movie. This here? Not really believable if they're trying to sell you that the final battle of Madame Shao was in 1810. They are giving you exact dates with an exact reference of where to look in history and it's bullshit look i i don't know if i'm completely missing the mark here but they turn don't hinge into a, just another landmark and a gift shop basically turning everything into exactly what his dad said uh, on his birthday 
the ignorance. It, look, you can make fun of stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm missing the mark here. Let me know down in the comments below if I'm missing the mark. I. Whatever. The jokes aren't connecting. It's bland. The characters, the actors, they. It, it's all boring. So he says the line, if this is a dream, he doesn't want it to end. In his dream, he found out that Stonehenge. It's just a landmark. Nothing. I guess I haven't mentioned it. They are horse thieves or. Well, that's what Kevin believed. And now they are in Troy. I wonder what horse they could be trying to steal. So now they're inside the Trojan horse to go and see Troy. She's telling them, the guards and the king, that the horse looks suspicious. And they're like, oh, you're just a woman. Meh. Who cares? They had to bring that in, didn't they? He's being told by Princess Cassandra that he is important and he will see so many things and he is the bestest and he will save the universe. Being told all of that from the very beginning, peak, peak storytelling, I tell you. I mean, at least the Dark Castle looks pretty cool. I feel like they put more time and energy into creating the demon. They look pretty awesome for demons. I wonder if that says something about them. Holy fudge. Just I don't want to say fudge. Now, that being said, I am so glad this episode is over with. Oh, my Lord. This was bad. You know, as bad as the acolyte was, how bad the writing was, how bad it kept to the lore of actual Star Wars. I can make fun of that. This here? Just bad. Horrible. Like, it's not even funny. I can't laugh at it. The writing is bad. The dialogue is bad. The acting is bad. The only redeeming quality is that for a show, the visuals actually look fairly nice, but it falls flat completely. And honestly, like again, in the movie, you go back and see Napoleon. And yes, Napoleon is actually historically, you know, actually a pretty tall guy for that era. So, but then, of course, but there is the caricature of Napoleon and of course, you know, making that making fun of Napoleon in that of course it's a it's supposed to be British humor, so of course they would. That's all right. They don't give you a specific date, there's no battle, anything like that. They just say, oh, Napoleonic era. Here's Napoleon. And make fun of him. That's all right. Saying it is 1810 and Madame Shao is going to face off in her final battle when there is no battle in history doesn't really fit now, does it? Kind of frustrating that me, as, as someone who's... I'm not a researcher. I'm not a historian. I'm interested in history. I look up things on the internet. I looked for like half an hour. Nothing. Zero. Maybe if I looked for an hour, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you are a historian and if you know if this was actually true. That there was a final battle in 1810. But from what I read, everything, the last battle that they had was in nine. Was in what, 19, 1809. And she realized at that point that it would just get harder from there on. 
And in 1810, she took a group of children and women to her uh, to her opposite and surrendered. She got a pardon. And that is when the pirate kingdom fell apart. This is, this, it's frustrating. This one's frustrating. It's like, I, I, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. Honestly, two episodes came out yesterday. I wanted to do a video yesterday, but uh, the you know real life stuff happened. But today I did this. I thought, hey, cool. I'm gonna breeze through episode one. I'm gonna do episode two and let that come out tomorrow. Holy hell! Yeah, I'm still going to do the episode for tomorrow, but I don't know if I can breeze through another episode of this tonight. So let me know down in the comments below if you're interested in seeing how bad this show actually is. And if you want me to do more of the history aspect, the, the true history of what happened. Or if you want me to just be like, yeah, no, this is wrong. That's wrong. This is right. That's wrong. Point that stuff out and give you a little bit of the history like I did in this episode. Let me know. Or do you want me to actually like do a deep dive? Although if although what I could do if you're interested is I could do a deep dive over on Enigmatic Universe of these historical characters. If that would be something that you would be interested in. All right. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video despite this show being so horrible and me not enjoying myself whatsoever. This is this is actual torture. Yes. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below what you think. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Uh, but base your thumb direction to the actual video, not the show. Right. Anyway, consider subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications because that is the only way for YouTube to know that you are actually interested in watching my videos. Well, thank you for stopping by and until next time, take care.